Once, there was a father. He was a very rich man. Had a lot of wealth. Had a lot of property. And the one thing he wanted to do most in life was to protect himself and his beloved son. Now, having wealth doesn't stave off mortality. So it came a time when the father became gravely ill. And knowing he was going to die, he called his son to him and said, Son, when I die, you will inherit everything. You will get all my fortune. But I need you to guard yourself against those that are untrue. And when you think of getting married, I want you to seek out my old friend. And he will help you find the perfect bride. And the boy promised to do that. Shortly thereafter, the father died. Now, as what most boys do, they grow up to be young men. And it was time for him to seek out love. And he remembered his promise to his father. So he went and found the old friend who was happy to help. He said, I will find the perfect bride for you. And the boy was overjoyed. And, and over time, it took a few days, but he found the perfect woman for that, for that young man. And wedding plans were made, and, and it was the day before the wedding. And the old friend said, there's one more thing you must do. You must go up to your bride's room the night before the wedding, tonight. And out in front of her door, you're going to find a stone. All you need to do is push that stone and move it. If you can do that, you will know that she is the chosen one. She is the one that has been picked for you. But if you can't, you will have to send her back home. And he agreed, and, and that night he went up and he could hear singing from that room. It was a song his late mother used to sing to him when he was but a child. And he had all the memories of his late mother as, as he heard this. And he looked in through the door that was ajar, and he, and he saw it. She was a beautiful woman. She was very elegantly dressed. And clearly, she was wise. She was intelligent. And he looked down at the stone. The stone was not a very big stone. And he put his hands on the stone, but try as he might, he could not move the stone. And he was sad, obviously, because he had to send the woman back. It was a couple of days later when the old friend brought a second woman. And again he called the young man to him and said, you must go up, there will be a stone by the door. All you need to do is push and move the stone. If you move the stone, then you'll know this was the woman that was meant for you. And again he went up. This time he heard the same tune. It was the same song, but this time it was being played on music. And as he looked in, there was a woman as beautiful as the first one, playing on a harp, that tune. And as her fingers danced along the strings in his mind, he danced along with her. And he reached down to move that stone, but try as he might, that stone would not move. And she too had to be sent home. It took a few more days, but a third one was found. And again, he moved up. And now he was really discouraged. What if I can't move the stone at all? Am I destined to be alone the rest of my life? And he heard the singing, and it was the same song. And he thought about all the friends he had growing up, and all the wonderful things he had done with his friends. The, the playing out in the fields and the sunshine, the dreaming of stars at night, climbing trees and, and swimming in the rivers and dancing with all his friends. And as he looked in, there was the woman. She was dressed in peasant clothing, up, dark, silky hair, her eyes alight. With, life, with playfulness, and she was sewing a quilt as she was singing. And he thought about this, these three women, they all could have been the same woman. They all had the qualities, they were all beautiful. They were all intelligent, enticing, kind. They were women I could love, women that I could call my friend. And he reached down to move the stone, but try as he might, that stone would move. And he was about to weep. 
when he saw a shadow move from the door. And he heard a gentle voice next to him who said, Here, let me help you. And the young woman put her hands down on the stone, and he put his hands down on the stone, and between the two of them, the stone easily moved. And at that point, he realized he had found the love he was looking for. And she too realized she had found the love exactly what she was looking for. But they learned, understood something else. It's more than just love that you seek. You must also work together to move all the stones away from the doorways that block you from having a rich and happy life. 